What's going on YouTube? Gene's here bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Today's video is a banger. We got ourselves a Life Orb Nidoqueen alongside with Justified Kabalian team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys rock. Thank you so much for the support that has been going out on this channel. But guys, if you want to check out this team or build this team for yourself, the Poke Paste is in the description below. Go click on that link, check it out, all that good stuff. And I know I get a lot of comments saying, Jeans, can I get a Poke Paste for this team or can I get a Poke Paste for that team? If I do end up having the Poke Paste, they will always be in the description below. So if they're not there, it means I did not get one. I did not get one from the creators of the team and all that good stuff because I would always like to show off uh, Poke Paces if I have them. So if you guys do send me in teams, make sure you guys uh, send a Poke Paste as well if you do have it. But if not, it's not that big of a deal. But rocking out on this team, we got ourselves Nido Queen, the heart and soul right here, Sheer Force and Life Orb. Come on. And this thing has amazing typing of Poison and Ground. We got Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, Ice Beam for coverage, and then Protect. Right next to it, we got ourselves Cresselia over here. And Cresselia with that Rocky Helmet and Levity is going to work as like a support mon over here. We got Psychic, Icy Wind, Helping Hand, and Trick Room. So we can set the Trick Room or we can cancel it out by sending it after somebody uses it. Beyond my face cam, we got the one, the only Dragapult here. But I really do like this uh, Dragapult considering it's clear body and it has light clay for screens. I love screen Pokemon. If you guys have watched my videos for a little bit, I, you guys know that I love to use Pokemon who can set up light screen and reflect. This thing has light screen, reflect, beat up for the Justify Kabalion, and then it's stab attack. Attacking move with Dragon Thorns. Right next to it, we got Kabalion with Justified and Assault Best. Iron Head Close Combat, both for stab moves. And then Bounce and Stone Edge. This moveset is ridiculous. It just covers so much. Bottom left corner, we got ourselves Twist Scarf Galarian Zapdos. This thing is so cool. Little Ostrich Pokemon fighting and flying with Brave Bird. Thunder's Kick, Throat Chop, and U-Turn. And then in the bottom right, as our last Pokemon, is a Pokemon that has been making its way back into rank battles. People have been using it more and more. We got Rotom Heat, Pizza Oven over here, Levitate, and Citrus Berry as its item. Overheat, Electro Web, will o -Wisp, and Protect for its moveset. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. My boy Joe made this for me, so Joe, shout out to you. Thank you so much for sending me in this team. I cannot wait to show it off. But without further ado, let's hop onto that rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this team. Hopping into our first battle and come to find out Kabalion is not battle marked ready, which means we are back on casual. Guys, if you are going to send me teams, make sure they are battle marked ready. It makes everything so much easier and we can hop into some rank battles, but I still want to show off the team once again against some uh, decent Pokemon because this team actually looks pretty solid as well with the Incineroar, Metagross, Tapu Koko, Suicune, Exterminates, and Groudon. It still looks like a fairly strong team, but who should I lead? How should I go into this? I could lead Polsky. And uh, just start setting up screens. I feel like that's a that's a fine play right there. I think I'm gonna do that and maybe lead Nido Queen and Dynamax right off the rip and get after it. Cause Nido Queen does work on so many of these Pokemon. You are definitely my Dynamax uh, Pokemon. Let's get it. Nido Queen, Dragapult. Uh, I'm gonna bring Choice Scarf, Glaring Zapdos in the back. He has no Trick Room users unless uh, Xerneas can throw a Trick Room. I don't think it can. And then I think either Rotom Pizza Oven or. Yeah, let's go Rotom. I feel like Rotom just uh, thrives here. Cresselia is more for the Trick Room and the support, and then Kabalion really needs to be justified to really do work. So, Pizza Oven coming in the back end for that first battle. But, if you guys want to catch more content from me, head in the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We've been streaming three plus days every single week. And by the time this video goes live, like an hour or two after it, I will be live for the day this video goes live. So, definitely come hang out, hit that follow button, and talk it up, and come chill with us. But, he's going to lead. Who you going to lead? Groudon and Incineroar. Okay, so Intimidate's gonna pop. I couldn't define boost. That would have been nice, but E. Yo, the minus one on my Needle Queen is, is a little a little scary. But I still have Sheer Fort. I still want a Dynamax. I really still want a Dynamax. You don't get the heat rolling. Um, I still want a Dynamax to just start boosting our special defense. I feel like they can be really, really good. Intimidate comes out. Clear body popping. And then minus one for my Needle Queen. Man, yo, chill on me. That's my Needle Queen. Um, definitely set up this Reflect. Get this rolling. Uh,. I think we just Dynamax to go EP into uh, this slot. We can start driving with this thing. This thing just does work all around. This does work all around. Let's get it, you know, Queen. Even though it's minus one, we got Sheer Force and Life Orb damage. This should be, uh, should be able to hit hard enough to take out the Sensinola. And it's stat. Like, come on. Come on, man. Come on. What more do you want? Like, even though we're minus one, he's going to go for the Fake Out on my Nita Queen slot. So, we're thriving with that. We're thriving with that. There goes the Dynamax. Bang. Yo, we, dude, Nita Queen looks sick. I cannot wait to get my hands on a Nita King team as well. But, oh, no Fake Out. Did you just uh, call me Dynamaxing? Or, or are you going to maybe party shot out? Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Nita Queen's going to go. We got to reflect up. And Quake is going to get thriving. This should be a huge damage. And are we going to tell it to get out? Yeah, yo. Get out of my face. Yo, Incineroar, out of here, boy. Get out of here. Dude, my boy, or my girl, Nidoqueen, my fault. 
My girl Nita Queen over here is just eating up. One tap people with a stab brown moves. Brown's gonna pop out here. Is he gonna go for a fire move? He might. Oh, he's gonna go for ooh, e, ooh, ooh, the blades, man. The blades. And it's super effective against my Nita Queen. What uh what typing is that move? I totally forget. I totally forget. Is it ground? I don't think it's ground. I really forget what uh typing that move is. Oh, and like Zarni's gonna pop oh, dude, that thing shiny looks gorgeous. Just looks like a beautiful rainbow. Fairy Aurora is gonna pop out as its ability, and then I am just going to set up a light screen now. And just uh did he ooze? Do I ooze and get my Oh we're special attacking, so Intimidate did not even did not even phase us, man! Didn't even phase us. Let me go plus one on the board. Let me go plus one for my special attacking. Let's get effort. Let's get effort. I thought this thing was physical physical attacking. Does that mean wait a minute? I gotta see sheer force ability. Is this a sheer force just for physical attackers? Hold up. Hold up. I gotta I gotta check this out. I gotta check this out. I still wanna use this team, but. Ability might be going to waste if I, if I think uh, uh, of the ability I'm thinking of. But ground on getting the D-Max. That's fine. We're going to outspeed. Probably take out Xerneas. Actually, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's see. I hope we do. I hope we say get out of my face. Ice screen is popping, which is just wonderful. Dandy candy. Screen's going to be up for probably the rest of the match. And then we're going to be able to get off this ooze. It's a little ooze. Can we take it out? Can we take it out? No, we are not going to be able to take it out. That's the only downside to Max Ooze. Like, it's so strong. Same thing with Max Suckle. It gives you that attack boost, which is amazing, but it doesn't really uh, one-hit KO too often. New Queen's going to lose some of the HP, and I think Pulsey's going to go down here. And here goes the Quake. Hey, yo, chill on me. He's going to get special defense boost, too. Need a Queen is going to take some nice damage and get taken out here. So he's probably going to pick up the double kill. We're sitting in a scary little situation. Scary little situation. But, again, we got screens up, so... I think we, I think we could be just fine. We got Rotom Heat. We got the Drought for him as well. Ooh, ooh, the Drought for my boy Heat. And here comes the Moonblast, right? Yeah, Moonblast. See you later, Pult. Get out of my face. <laughs> he says, Pult, out of here. Out my face. It's all good. It's all good. I definitely want to look at that Sheer Force ability because I don't think it's working. I thought it, Sheer Force only works for physical attackers. I really do want to check out this thing somewhere. Removes. Okay, wait. Sheer Force ability right here. Removes additional effects to increase the power of moves when attacking. Okay, so never mind. Never mind, it is totally fine. Sheer Force works with a uh, special thing. Cool. Uh, we gotta go Zapdos and I got Choice Scarf and and I gotta go Rotom Heat. I have Overheat. I do have Overheat. I could burn the Growler. I could totally burn the ground. It's not fire typing. You can just throw a burn on the front and get out of my face, go home. Um, he cannot quake me. He might have a rock move. Uh, hmm. Hmm. What do I go for? Thunder's kick's probably, probably, probably the play. Probably the play here. I would like the choice into this. Uh, what other, what other Pokemon do you, would you have? Metagross. Okay, Metagross is a, is a solid final end Pokemon. Or Suicune or Papu Koko. So, what move do I really want to scrap into? I think we're going to go Thunder's kick here. We could also lower defense stats. Uh, do we think he's going to take out this? Let me just go here and then I said we Electro Web it. But I'm thinking, oh no, Electro Web doesn't affect that. E. I said we we, we go for the, uh, the Thunder's Kick. We choice into it, and we just, we hope to take out Xerneas. And then we throw a burn over onto Groudon over here. We throw a wonderful little burn on the Groudon. Let's see what happens here. See what happens. Thunder's Kick comes out. Please take this thing out. Kick it right in the nose and say go home, man. Mmm. Mmm. No. Will Lewis will come out here, which will work pretty well. Get that burn on this big old physical attacker. And we do have a uh, Max Quake coming out here. Yo. <laughs> Thank you very much. Big waste of a turn there. That's huge for us. Uh, Moonblast is going to come out here. Oh, that might take us out. Can we eat? Hey, yo, that's Stacy Sam. He eats, yo. I love you, Zapdos. Zapdos is going to be able to take out. And I could just drop an overheat. What do I really want to do here? What does Jeans want to do here? What does Jeans really want to do here? I say we drop Thunder's Kick here and then we just Electro Web. I don't want to drop an Overheat just yet. Not yet. Not yet. Thunder's Kick comes out. Hey, give me the defense drop. Give it to me, baby. Oh, we got it. That's huge. That is huge. Electro Web comes out. Does not affect Groudon, but take out Xerneas. <gasps> what you mean? Bruh. Bruh. Bruh, no. Oh, my lord. That could have been huge. That could have been huge. It could have been huge. This thing should be dumpstered on. Dead. Get it out of my face. 
Orange coming out on that thing. Um, hmm. I think I just go for another Electro Web. Take that out. I don't think I have to worry about the Groudon too much. I think Groudon's like a last resort Pokemon. Go for another Electro Web. I know it's not going to affect him. But, bro, dude, are you kidding me? We missed that thing? Now I don't think we're going to have Drought for Overheat, which is a little tough. A little tough news for your boy. Unless he's holding that out of the heat, bro. I hope. I should have uh, actually checked. But, bro, dude, are you kidding me? Are you serious? I probably should have just quaked into that uh, now. Because Max is going to do more to that Xerneas than a quake. Electro Web comes out. It's not going to affect Groudon. We understand. And Electro Web is going to take out Xerneas finally. It should have hit last turn and just dumped on it. Well, to go home. Hopefully this thing misses or something along those lines. What's he going to go for? You cannot go for that. That's a ground move. What are you doing? Oh, he might be scarfed into it. He might be bandit scarfed or something into that. But I haven't seen him use a different move. I'm going to hope that. Because if he is, we got this game in the back. But that would be weird if this thing's like choice bandit or choice scarfed. Like, I, I would not see that coming. This could be huge. This could be huge. He's going to send out Effie. Who's Effie? It's going to be Metagross. Okay, so I'm definitely overheat that thing. I have to go home. About to go home. Give me this thing. Come here, boy. We dropping big old overheat on you, even though it's gonna drop our special attack. I don't know if we're gonna be able to KO this thing in one shot. Like, can you KO a Metagross in one shot? Like, dude, that's so tough. Maybe if the drought, if the drought was out, it would definitely be gone. Hopefully, this thing is choice in that. He's been using that a little too often. Take that thing out. Get it out. <gasps> oh my God, Rotom, you are amazing. You are amazing, Rotom. Dropping our special attack and tell Metagross to go home. Please tell me it's like scarfed in this. No, it has eruption, you biscuit. You biscuit, chill on me. We do have a berry, yo. This one's gonna be real close. I should have to overheat out and have the burn just keep taking damage. Oh my god, it's pizza oven clutching it for the boys. Let's go, pizza oven. Let's get it. Let's get it, pizza oven. Come on, baby. I think we have this one. Because eruption is based on HP. He cannot use ground moves. Uh, what other moves does he have? I don't I don't know. Go overheat. Doing some damage. Give me the burn damage. I'm dropping my special attack. <laughs> like, we're going all out here. He cannot use that move. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know why he keeps going for it. But I think he knows this one's over. So, he's just, he just going for things. Let's get it over here again, y'all. Dude, my boy clutching it up. Pizza oven OP, dude. Who would have thought a yield oven with hands could defeat big old ground Pokemon. Big old legendary of the ground, of the earth. Just owns it. Get him out of here. Get him gone, kids. Things eating again. I could protect and just have it die out to a burn. I'm gonna use Solar Beam, dude. Yeah, dude. His move sets all like Rotom's just eating up his whole move set. His whole move set. Rotom is just eating up, dude. That is GG, yo, guys. That is how it's done. That is how it's done. Rotom doing it for the online gaming community, the Jeans online gaming community. This thing ends up dodging an attack, and he's. I imagine he gets like a crit or something, and just marks on me. No time soup, too bulky. Burn takes out. Rats. Does not take out. Light screen's wearing off. Blah, 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 blah. And one more overheat. Should be able to do the job. Rotom coming in clutch. That's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to hop into our second battle now. After this, Rotom takes this thing out. Come on, Rotom. Do it. Come on, don't miss this time. You got this. You got it. Ground on. Get out of my face. Get out of my face, ground on. GG. We're going to hop into our second battle and try to get a win streak rolling for today's video. I used to use this team that our opponent is using back in like season three or something like that. I used to love this team so much, but we're going up against it. Let's see if the new meta can take out the old meta. We're going to be checking out right here, right now. We have Snorlax, Dragapult, Mimikyu. I haven't seen a lot of Mimikyu in the new season. Like Mimikyu still is a great Pokemon. Rotom Heat, Hippowdon, and Eggy Slash. Dude, Eggy Slash is awesome. I love that Pokemon design. Um, Who should I go with? Who should I lead with? Uh, he has no Intimidate. He has Snorlax, which I do got to watch out. Gotta watch out for that lax of the snores. I could actually go uh, Kabalion and Justified Boost this round. I think that's a play. I think that's a wonderful play. Let's do it. Let's go with Poltsky, Kabalion. I'm gonna bring Needle Queen in the back. And then Zapdos? Yeah, let's go Zapdos here. I just cannot choice into... Is he, I cannot choice into... Uh, actually, the, is Zapdos the Pokemon we wanna go with? Because I cannot choice into uh, Thunder's Kick. I think we're just gonna go Rotom here. I'm just going to go Rotom. I cannot uh, choice to a Thunder's Kick because he has three Ghost Pokemon. The AG Slash, the Mimikyu, and the Dragapult. So if I choice in that, that's a game over for, for Zapdos. He's really not going to be thriving here. So we're just going to leave him out and bring in uh, Rotom Heat to do some work. 
as you know, the boy Rotom Heat is always, he's, he's fire, dude, he's fire. <laughs> but he's gonna go Mimi Mimi Mims and hit out on. Um, I think trying to set up a uh, Swords Dance. Uh, do I still justify boost? Do I still justify boost? Dance stream is popping. It's popping. We see all that all day. Uh, Kabalion cannot get hit by Steel Typing. He's going to be thriving. Um, we're going to beat up. We are going to beat up on this Kabalion and go into a... Do I Steel Spike? But I know... I'd rather uh, Dragon Darts and then take that thing out. I'd rather go after the... What's going on right now? I'd rather just get the defense boost and throw it over on the hip out on instead of disguising, uh, soaking up that damage. I'd rather just get the defense boost. Both these Pokemon are physical attackers, so that's going to go a long way. Let's get it. Huck this giant Pokeball out there with two hands. He's like, hey, get out there. You'd imagine just having a Pokemon in a Pokeball, like on your hip at all times. Someone's bothering you? Yo, throw out my Charizard to deal with my problems. <laughs> like, like some guys talking smack. Out in public, you're just like Charizard, eat it, and then Charizard just comes in and marks the dude. Like, get out of my face. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Like, just imagine if you were like arguing with somebody, and the person you're arguing with just pulls out a Pokemon, and tosses it right in front of you. You'd be like, all right, dude, you won this one. <laughs> like, I hit Powdon, hit Powdon right in front of your face. And you're just like, all right, you won the argument. Here's my money, take it all too. <laughs> and then he it's just over. Like, life would be so much more simple. There would be no problems because people would just throw out Pokemon to solve their problems. See, so dude, vote for Jeans for president. 2024. Or just get me in office for 2024. We will all have Pokemon. It'd be amazing. It'd be a beautiful little scene. But Hippowdon does not uh, go down to the Steel Spike. And we do get the defensive boost here. Uh, did I set up a. Uh, no, I was going to say, did I set up a reflect? Let's go for a Shadow Claw. Hey, you're chilling, man. Chill on me. Defense boost is gonna help out on that. And I can set up a reflect next turn. It's gonna help out a little bit more. Or set out on them taking out. He is gonna take him out. You biscuit dude. Oh my my boy eats, dude. My boy eats because it's not stab and because of the defense boost. Now going through dragon darts. Take out hip out on and I can take out on Mimikyu as well. Oh my god. Oh no, it doesn't affect him. Uh uh, I still wanna take out hip out on. I guess we'll get another defense boost, even though I want to set up a little fight or something. We'll just get the defense boost and have Kabalion roll out here. Oh, dude, that's whack. He's probably going to Shadow Sneak him. That would be the smart play. And then I would roll out into... Who else did I bring? I brought... Oh, Nidoqueen. I'm definitely rolling into Nidoqueen. You're Dynamaxing. You're Mimis. So no Shadow Sneak. I'd love to see that. I'd love to see that. So hip out on, out of my face. I totally forgot this thing is a uh, part fairy type. I thought Dragon Dark was going to laser it and do some work. This thing is not boosted at all, so I'm fine with it. And we're going to be plus two on the defensive board. Yeah. Bruh, this one's going to be an easy dub, I feel. Easy dub. Easy dub. Dragon Dark coming out here. Hit Pout on. Go home. Go home, man. You're not welcomed here. This is my battlefield. Jeans is battlefield. The Jeans online gaming community battlefield. Steel Spike popping. They see a later disguise. That is such a good ability. Disguise it just eats up initial hit. So you can you can do a lot. You can set the sword dance. You can do all these different things. You can just it's just it's just OP, man. I wouldn't say it's OP, but it's really I think it's one of the better abilities in this game. And the thing is, I think only he learns it. Is there any other Pokemon that learns disguise? If there is, let me know in that comment section down below. And guys, I know I haven't really been responding to the comments as much as I should be, but I do read most of them, and I try to get back to all of you guys. But he is going to go for this to set the terrain. I guess he uh, just wants to do damage, set the terrain, and uh, have Polk go down to the uh, Sandstorm. Which isn't bad. Which isn't a bad play. Polk, see you later, bud. He's going to set his own terrain up. So, I, I mean, now I just take it out next turn. Now I just say, see you later, Mimikyu, next turn. I don't need a queen with that Shooter Force and that Life Orb. And this one's pretty much a wrap. Like I said, this should be an easy win for us. Needle Queen, yeah. So it's my Kabbalion, it's plus four. Get out of here. Both times come out here, I cannot go into my ground moves. I cannot do that. That is illegal. But I can't go into my sludge bomb. No problem whatsoever. I'll just drop a steel spike. Get a plus three on the defensive board. Yeah, maybe get out of here. Oh, but I gotta watch out for overheat. Overheat's gonna be big damage on my Kabbalion. So two sludge bombs, I think, should be able to take out this short time. Actually, this thing's pretty bulky in special defense. We'll see what happens. Comes over here. Oh yes, we eat one up. We eat one up, yo, Kabayan. You're, you're the best, Kabayan. That's what we needed. Did outspeed my Kabayan, too. That's pretty fast right now. And Mimikyu. 
fuck out of here. Out my face, dude. Get him out of here. <laughs> Defense boost raising. Oh, we're thriving here. The Balion probably goes out next turn, but this thing's minus two on, on attack now. So usually, like, if you use an overheat and you don't pick up the KO, yeah, it should be it should be if you use overheat and you pick up the KO, you don't drop your stats. Oh, that thing did a heap amount, man. It did a heap amount. But I think that should be a thing. If overheat does not kill, then you drop your special attack. But if it does kill, you just keep thriving with it. That would be the plan. That would that's how I would make it. Again, Jeans for President 2020, 2024, whichever one you guys want. And then your ballots. <laughs> just jeans. Imagine me in a in a in a hat. No, what what is that guy's name? Is it Samuel? No, I'm trying to think. I can't even think of it, but I, like a big American hat. <laughs> and that music playing in the background for me. <laughs> I'm gonna have the stone edge and finish off this game. This one's over. I'm gonna face, dudes. Get him out of here. Overheat's gonna pop. Actually, that's gonna take out the bio. Bio, no! Kill me, though. This one's not over yet. I sheer force me to Queen's gonna have to pop off here. Mm, I gotta take a picture of that. I gotta get myself a big top hat, well, American top hat, and just have me going like this. And then in the background noises, <laughs> just says jeans for president. Pokemon will be legal. <laughs> Make Pokemon legal again. <laughs> just have that rolling out there. <laughs> Bro, dude, come on, man. Yeah, like, I gotta start campaigning for this. How many Pokemon fans will vote for me? Be astronomical. But this one's over. We're gonna get two and zero here, yo. Been into our third battle. This guy's not gonna quit. You need a queen of voices attack you. you. You're trash, good. You're trash, good. You're trash, good. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. You're missing your attacks. You don't deserve to battle me. You don't deserve it. Now we can hop to our third battle and look for that perfect record. Third and final battle, and this guy really wants to smoke. This guy really wants to smoke from jeans right here. This guy's bringing out Lunala, Lycanroc, Garatina in a the second form. Silvali, Yavelta, and Incineroar. He wants to bring out all these legendaries just to lose, but we looking for that perfect record for the Jeans Online Gaming Community, baby. We looking for it. I'm gonna get it for you guys, because I'm not gonna let this chump over here with all these legendaries just run me over. But I'm gonna go Need a Queen. I'm gonna pull out Need a Queen. Need a Queen's gonna get after it. Um, actually, do these guys have levity? That's cool. E ah, I'm definitely still pulling out Need a Queen. I don't really care. I don't, I, it's fine with me. We're gonna bring out Dragapult. I'm gonna bring out a uh, Zapdos and Rotom. We're gonna get after it. Feeling good with this one. I'm feeling good with this one. We're not gonna show off Cresselia in today's video, but you guys already know what Cresselia is uh, capable of doing. We can set Trick Room. We can cancel out Trick Room, but and we can uh, use like Helping Hand and all that good stuff. But what I wanted to say is uh, this thing is rather fast, so it doesn't really thrive on the Trick Room. So I would really only bring out Cresselia to cancel out a Trick Room, or be just a support mod on the side. But Lunala and Garatina get after it. They get after it. Now, the thing, my question is, what are these things' abilities? Are these things levitated? Because if not, I'm going to get after it with this max quake. And I'm going to set up this light stream for sure. So I'm going to go see these things typing. They might be flying as well. Garatina. Ghost and Dragon. So I can totally dump on them. Ghost out. Okay. Uh, or you could drop a, drop a Hailstorm. Or I'd rather get the special defense boost. Uh... I want Lunala out of here. I want Lunala out of here. That thing is huge. That thing is a beast. These things are both beasts, but you're really going to pull out legendaries, and I'm going to smack up on you. Actually, I'm not even sure if we're going to smack up on you, because we know how strong these things can hit. Things can hit like an absolute truck. We got Beast Ball Needle Queen coming out here. Let me double yeet it over my head. Yeet. <laughs> there we go. Out on the field. Yo, Needle Queen is such a cool Pokemon. I really do like it. I really do like Needle Queen and the design. I feel like Gen 1 has awesome designs, but like first gen designs, like fire, man. They are fire. Go light screen pop, and that's gonna help us out tremendously. Give me that screen that is full of light, and then this thing is gonna outspeed and go for a moon geist beam. That is absolutely terrifying. This thing's got to go. Look at this move. Oh, I'm sorry, but you eat, you eat because of light screen. Your god sent down from the heavens. From the heavens, it was my quake. This thing's a beast. This thing is an absolute beast. Oh my lord. This thing's an absolute monster. It's crit on Pult. Pult was dead anyway. He is going to get that attack drop on him. It's still fine. It's an absolute beast. Um, Zapdos? 
it's at this point. Hmm. I think I'm gonna just start uh, slowing these Pokemon down a little bit. Oh man, I do not know. I was talking all that work in the beginning. <laughs> but legendaries are OP, man. This is why they're not allowed to rank. I think E eats up my max quickly, you know, tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna have to drop Hailstorms. I'll right, just try to get circuit and rid of Pokemon. Uh, let's have an extra web. I'm gonna just start webbing up. Start webbing up, slowing down. Doing some work left and right. Let's get after it. Come on, Nita Queen. I need you here. Even though it's not stab, you should be able to do a decent chunk out of the air team's damage or health bar. But I'll get these confused right. Ah! Just duck me up, man. Just gave me the ducks, dude. Come on, hit through it. That a girl. That a girl, Needle Queen. Hit right through it. Getting some damage off here. Nice damage over on the character. He still has a dime match. Just absolutely terrifying. Here's my hail. Buffets are going to help out a little bit. I'll take Buffets if they're Pokemon. I'll take Buffets. Extra web. Hey. Get him. Get after it. Garatina is. Oh. Oh no, Garatina will go down to my next Electro Ball, which is going to be awesome. Garatina is the slowest. Candy, candy. Shadow Force can come out here. Banishes, bro. Yo, you hunk of junk. You hunk of junk. Okay. So I'm just going to go Electro Web again. And then, uh, double up into the Lunala slot. I think it's fine. Does Garatina still take Buffets? It might not. Let's see. It does. Okay. It does. Lower Buffet, that thing might be gone? I'm not too sure. I'm gonna have to go for a quick here. Boost my special defense. And then, uh, just electro web again. Like, I wanna overheat. But then at the same time, I do not. I'll probably overheat, like, next turn. First thing goes down. Oh, come on. Hit through the ducks. Hit through the ducks. Ah! Whack. 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 That was my last max move. I needed that. Slow down that Lumala. Felt the hey, hey, hey there, partner. So you roll there, kid. Shadow Force coming out here. New Queen says, yo, that takes snack. This thing is going to go after a Moonlight. Oh, he uses Moonlight. Oh, my God, it's going to heal up. This thing is so strong. This thing's an absolute beast. Please take out Garatina here. Please take out Garatina here. So we can go home, yeah. Of course, it doesn't. It does not. Okay, so Electro Web takes out Garatina. Uh, and then we double up into uh, Lunala. Lunala is too good, man. Lunala is too good. That's why I want it out of here. I'm gonna go for an EP. And then, again, okay, Electro Web. Save our overheat. And we're thriving with our overheat. Uh, Botom hasn't taken too much damage. Still has that Citrus Berry as well. So I'm gonna save my overheat. Maybe for a Pokemon that I can do more damage on. Can you, like, stop being confused? Thank you. Thank you. Hit and throw it. Let's go. Built doing, like, no. Ooh, was that a crit? Was that a crit? It was not. Why did that one do so much damage, but Max Quick didn't? I'm a little confused by that. I'm a little confused by that. Why didn't Max Quick do as much as just a regular Earth Power? If you guys know, let me know in the comment section down below. We'd really like to know. Moon Guys Beam coming out here. I can take out Lunala next turn. Hopefully, that's going in for Rotom. Yes, it is. Rotom should be able to eat all day. Beautiful. Citrus Berry isn't popping. Actually, it will pop after the buffets. Nino Queen should be able to take out Lunala. I should be able to drop an overheat on the other side. Hopefully, it's a Pokemon that we can just dump on. And then we bring out my boy Galarian Zapdos to maybe clean up and get this perfect record. And I'll take some damage. Actually, I'm just going to drop an Electro Web and double up into the other Pokemon. And then go ahead. Yeah, he still has a Dynamax. Though. Still has a dang Dynamax. If I go in Sinmore. If he has Incineroar, I would go in Sinmore. <laughs> Let's see. Make him move, dog. Make him move. Hey, ding, ding, ding. Ding. Gonna go. I don't even know what this is. Yep, instant or Veg Raptor YT. I'll start. I'm. I'm gonna let this guy know a better YT than Veg Raptor, and that is Jeans YT, baby. All day, hoo hoo, Jeans, baby. <laughs> um, what else? Speed. Heck yeah, we should. Extra web should be able to pop. He's gonna fake out at one of us. Hopefully, it's not my Rotom. Hopefully, it's not my Rotom. Leave me alone. I would rather have Nino Queen. I should have maybe. I should have double protected. I should have double protected. That would have been a play. Lunala goes down. I mean, we would be thriving. That 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 should have been a play. That might lose me the game. Unless he's not going for fake out. He's Dynamax instead. Okay. That's actually better. Man. That's actually better. Man. He's going to Dynamax that. Lunala's going to go down. We're going to get an EP off on this thing before we do roll out. 
And then I still have my boy. Um, so my boy in the back. I wonder what he's gonna go for. Be a dark mood. We'll see. Thank you, we snap out confusion. EP comes out. Nice damage, buddy. Good work. Good work, Needle Queen. Next show web comes out. Oh, yes, sir. Is Jeans really gonna be doing this? Is Jeans making the comeback against Legends? He doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. Max player coming out here. Let's him take on Needle Queen. That's fine. Needle Queen just did its job. And now Overheat's gonna be more damage. Oh! Oh! I got it. Overheat the next Pokemon and I Thunder's kick this thing. We looking good. We looking good. Real good. Real good, baby. Give me my zap though. No one's else being this thing. This is scarfed all day. We got super effective Thunder's kick. It really depends what the next Pokemon is, is what move I'm gonna scarf into. Yavelta. Oh yo, we totally get after something. We totally get after it. Oh, that's so cool though. I remember when X and Y came out. That was so hype. That was such a good game. Dark Roar coming out. And then we're gonna be able to do this. Thunder's kick. Over onto you. And then I'm gonna overheat. Over onto you, baby. Let's finish this game. Give me that perfect record. That's all I want. That is all I want. Because we actually had some really good battles in the casual battle today. Probably the best casual battles we we have so far. His opponents weren't terrible. He's gonna guard. You're gonna guard, man? Is that what you're gonna do? Thunder's kick. Blah, baby. That's alright. Rotom should be able to outspeed you, Belta. Yes, sir. Nope. Never mind. Oblivious swing. Eat up. Eat up. Eat up. Say let's taste snack. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Overheat should be able to come over here. Pick up the KO. Yeah. It does not pick up the KO. That's a little sad. Again, this game still should be over, regardless. Because, again, Thunder's kick. The speeds, we take out you. And then we overheat and take out you. Bro, come on. Come on, yo. Gene's making the comeback. I thought it was over after that Lumal ate up that first Max Quake. But I still don't understand how we didn't do a lot of damage to the Max Quake. We didn't. We barely did any damage. But then my Earth Power does a lot of damage. Makes no sense. He tries Max Guard again. We say, yo, stop it. You're stupid. You can't do that twice. Well, he can, but it's a it's a rare chance. So he went for it. Did not pay off. Big old cat falls to the ground. Says, yo, I'm dead. And then my boy, or this Oblivious Wing, is going to come out here. And is this going to take me out? It might. Yeah, it does. So I need my boy here. I need my boy. Rogue Tom. Clutching up again. Oh, he gets HP. E! He might win this one. He's getting all his HP. I'm not mad about it. Not about it. Give me a crit or something. Oh my lord. And keeps getting HP. We are sitting in such a terrible spot. Do I burn it? No. We going for that overheat. I should have I actually just let you do it. What are you going to do, fool? You don't got this match. You don't got it. I'm telling you. Beans is the best. Make a move, man. Make a move! Dude, the Yvelta looks so dope. I don't know who's cooler, Yvelta or Xerneas. They're both sick. Dragon Rush coming out here. Dodged it. My boy dodged it. Over here, should be able to finish this one off. Yeah! Yes, sir, yo. Perfect record. Let's get it. 3-0 and in today's video, and we rocked out with this Nido Queen team. I absolutely love this Nido Queen team. This thing is an absolute beast with Cheer Force and Life Orb. It was just dumping all Pokemon left and right. Joe, thank you so much for dropping this team once again. Went with the perfect record, and everything worked out awesome with this team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.